Hey, cloud engineers, you are working on a task to spin up EC2 instances using CloudFormation service. You wrote a template, you went to the service, you uploaded that template there, and you tried to create a stack. It failed, unauthorized. You did some work, and then you find out that CloudFormation service require privileges to spin up EC2 instances on your behalf. You found out a service link role available to you, which has privileges to spin up EC2 instances. Now you assign this role to service again and run creating the stack. Hmm, still not working. I did all that and learned in a hard way that you know you need to do one more thing and that thing is before I tell you what that thing is I want to tell you what is the problem the problem here is that your principal does not have the permissions to assign or pass any role to that service so this is how I did it I created a policy which has pass role as action and the ARM of the role which needs to be passed in its resource section and then I added this policy to my principal and give it a try again so I got my EC2 instances I hope you do too so so pass rule is an IAM permission which your principal needs to pass any role to a service. It's a very important permission, especially in the enterprises where many identities are building and deploying many applications at the same time to different environments. Not using this permission securely and effectively can expose large vector area for your attackers to attack. Let's explore and exploit. Imagine you are a inside attacker in your enterprise and you get to know that there is a secrets manager available to you which has so many secrets available like database credentials and API keys. But obviously you cannot access all those secrets because security is pretty tightened up around that secrets manager. But your security teams probably are not so much focused on pass role policies and you found out that there is a policy exist and you somehow get hold of that policy and assign it with your user. Imagine what you can do now. One thing you can do is like you can create a lambda through a lambda service and pass any role to the lambda service and when you do that your lambda might have permissions to access any secrets in the secrets manager that dangerous pass role is one more thing there is an issue with auditing pass roles because pass role is actually not an api call it is a action which is added into the policy so if your organization is using pass role you need to build an auditing mechanism around it. Ha 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 ha. And one more thing, please follow me for more exploit. Take care for now.